the study guide for today we'll be looking at the possible 2023 YEC and biometric analysis. This is what we have in there. Uh, 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 this is what we have here. So the question say that this is a solution of solution of sodium trial carbonate and hydrated water prepared by dissolving five grams of hydrated salt in 250 cm3 solution. Solution A contains 0.1 mole of hydrochloric acid in one dm3 solution. Now from the result information given, calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm3 volume of value of the hydra molecule of the hydrated salt. And then you have a percentage percentage of water of crystallization. So with the um, with the titration information, we are going to use it to solve the question given to us. So this is the table of the analysis. So what we're going to do now is to calculate the volume, average volume of in units. So the next thing, the first question they said that we should apply the volume, the concentration in more per dm cube of the of the B. So we have this relation to use. C this one is 0 0.1. Volume here is 25.6 and volume of B is 25 and then concentration of B is what we are looking for. Concentration in more per dm cube is what we are looking for. And this other one from the equation from the equation we notice that the habit will be this that means A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 1. So we substitute for that. If we substitute we have All over times 25 equals the 2 over 2 over 1. If you cross over, you have 50. 50 CD equal to 0. Point. Now CB will then be all over 50. That will give us 0. 0.05. Mole per dm cube, 0 0.05 mole per dm cube. That is what we have there. So um, the next thing we are going to do now is to calculate the value. So the value of the molecule of water of crystallization. So for the value of water of crystallization, we have mass conk of hydrated salts. Over over molar mass of hydrated salt equal to mass count of anhydrous anhydrous salt over molar mass of the and hydrous salt. So we're going to get this thing based on this one. We can get the molar mass of, of that to be mass of the hydrous salt, mass over molar mass. The molar mass of hydrous salt is the number of moles of hydrated salt is 0 0.05. The mass is what we don't know, and the molar mass is 0. 
106. So we multiply it to it will give us 0 0.05 times that will give us 5 grams. Now to get the mass of concentration of hydrated salt, we are told that 350 cm cube of the hydrated salts hydrated salts contain 5 grams there are 1000 cm cube of the same salts will give us 5 over 350 times 1000 over 1 1000 over 1 this will give us this will give us equal to 14.29 grams. That is what we have. 14.29 grams. So now we have all the things required. The next thing we are going to do is to calculate the um so what we have here is now mass of a salt over another mass of a salt equal to Mass of anhydrous salts over molar mass of anhydrous salts. So, what we we'll do here is we we'll cross multiply. We have no equal to right. So, this will multiply will give us. To give us one five four point seven four seven four. This one will give us we'll hold it down like that. So one O C plus a M A T will give us all over. That will give us um, two two eight five point eight. So in this case, we have so n eighteen will give give us. equal to one seven nine point then m will then be one seven nine point eight over eighteen that will give us nine point um, nine eight approximately you can say approximately ten molecules of water of crystallization so the next one we're going to do now is to find the percentage water of crystallization. For the percentage water of crystallization, we have the mass of hydrated salts, mass of hydrated salts equal to 14.29 grams, mass of anhydrous So equal to 5.3 grams. Now mass of water. Mass of water will be mass of anhydrous and hydrated salt minus mass of anhydrous salt. Then we will get an 8.99 grams. So it is now percentage. Water of water of crystallization. Crystallization will then be over mass of hydrated salts, and that will give us 62.1 percent as the final answer. Thank you so much for being part of the class. I would like you, if you have not subscribed, to subscribe, share. Make your comments. We would like to hear from you. Thank you so much.